Yo, what up? We're at the Holy Hot Pot place, and uh, we're gonna enjoy some awesome hot pot. This is one of the best hot pot places inside Manhattan. Yeah. Okay, look at the sauce. No, this is the best. This yeah. is the best. Super place. spicy on one side. Regular on the other side, but the sauce itself, the soup itself, is super good, yeah. super yummy. Yeah, this is dad's sauce. It looks like snot. His yeah. sauce doesn't look that good. I'm gonna make some awesome Guys, appetizing sauce. I don't know how to make sauce because I don't come to hot pot that often. Yeah, I love the spicy so much. They don't. It's gonna be my side's gonna have the really spicy side. I'm gonna go make some awesome sauce. Okay, what I like to do: minced garlic, absolutely. Okay, you gotta have cilantro. Gotta have lots of it. It's great. Okay. Soy sauce. This is cha cha. Okay, Chinese barbecue sauce. That's what they call it. Must have. You gotta have a scoop of soy sauce. Black vinegar. Just a little bit. I like a little acidity, a little sourness. And here we go. Chima or huashim. This is the toughest choice. Every time I either do huashim or chima. Okay. So this time, let me do chima. Yeah, you get a ton of it. Oh, it's good. You gotta get it in there. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, now, hot gel chiang. That's not right. Okay, gotta look for hot oil. Chili oil. Chili oil. Here we go. Yeah! Oh, yeah. man. That's what I like. The only hot pot place probably in the world that has icy. Yeah. Yeah, we're going for that. Also, it has like plum tea and dong gua cha. This is all so freaking awesome. And then once you finish the hot pot, you can use some ice cream. Look at this, look how spicy this is. This is all hot oil. Mike, I think this. I think they made this extra spicy for you. You gotta have watercress. 100% you gotta have watercress. It helps balance You gotta have flavor. potatoes. What is, what is this? What, what is do we that? order here? Yango, I ordered that. Oh my yes. god, that's a mistake. Oh, nice. Don't ever get Yango because that fills your stomach up. Okay, someone got fish taro. tofu. I got fish tofu. We got fish tofu. Me which got is taro. probably not the best choice. These either are right. Egg dumplings. Egg dumplings. And Dan right. likes to eat rice with his hot pot. Oh, I forgot to get rice. Don't ever get rice. This guy I is like a hot pot rice. amateur. Okay. So this sauce that they have here at Hoi, it is gonna be. I'm telling you guys right now, the hottest sauce you are ever having in your life. Dude, in look your at life. this. Look at this. I, oh my god. And look at my, look at my, look at my actual sauce. <laughs> like I'm gonna mix it up a little bit for you guys. Look at that. This is so spicy. Okay, I'm like this hot, spicy king. Okay, so I love this stuff. We got our lamb, must have. We got our pork bacon. Uh, we got our pork belly bacon. We got our beef. We got a beef right here. So now we got the quite essential ingredients to start our hot pot. So here we go. All right, I love tripe, okay? Most people that I go out to eat hot pot with don't like tripe. You gotta try some tripe in your hot pot, okay? The thing is with tripe, it's really quick. So you put it in, there we go. All right, you put it in, literally like a few seconds, maybe like 10, so count to 10, like seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And you gotta take it out, otherwise it becomes old, it becomes too much. All right, so I'm gonna try the ice. <laughs> Oh my god. Mm, it's spicy. It's so spicy. It's so spicy because you're weak. No. Alright, Dan just made the mistake of putting in the greens right away. Why, why? Because, guys, if you watched my last video on Hot Pot, right. if you put in greens right away, it soaks up all the sauce and oil floating on top of the Hot Pot. So you usually want to eat your greens last. Also, before you eat your hot pot, you should drink some little fruit juice, a little yogurt to cover your stomach with it, because hot pot is really kind of acidy. Okay, the only thing we're missing now is an egg. And rice. And my, no, and rice. no, we're not getting you gotta, rice. You gotta get rice. So, don't do dude, it. Dude, do yourself a favor, get rice when you go to hot pot. You are redone. Don't get, don't get rice, okay? Get an egg. Don't put the egg in your sauce. Put the egg into your pot and let it boil. Alright, this is a frozen tofu. I love frozen tofu in hot pot because it soaks up all the awesomeness. It's so good. Dip it. Oh yeah! Mm. It soaks up all the juice and seasoning. It's one of my favorite, favorite things. Frozen tofu. If you guys never put spam in hot pot, you're missing out. Spam is awesome in hot pot. Mm. Oh, really good spam. Really good spam. Okay, this is a seaweed knot. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Those of you who have never had it before, seaweed is really, really good. It's not crunchy. It's a little chewy. It's not one of my favorites, but still, it's not bad. So Mia came up with a new trick. You put the beef into an egg white, and then you cook it. 
And she's saying this is gonna be amazing, so let's see if it's right. If it's not, then she pays for dinner. All right, supposedly this is coated with uh, egg white. Supposedly this is really awesome. Let's way see. Better. Let's see. Way better. You think it's way better? It's Mia's a genius. Tender, right? Mia's a genius. It's either really good or it's undercooked. One of those two. I don't know. All right, we gotta put the potatoes in. If you guys listen to my video, you would have tried potatoes and hot pot already. Potatoes and hot pot is one of the best things you'll ever have in your life. They'll make the potatoes one of the best tasting potatoes you'll ever get to eat. So put it in early and let it cook until it's all like, like soft and like mashed potato y. That's a word, mashed potato y. So no one's touched the uh, rice cake that Mia ordered. I, did. I had one. Yeah, one. There's like 20 left. All right, Dan almost made a fatal error. He was gonna put noodles into our spicy sauce. Big no no because then the noodles will soak up all the awesome spicy food. I mean, all the spicy goodness. And we will have no spicy goodness left. We want spicy goodness. You notice how it's all cracked so the wonderful soup can get inside? Okay, now we're gonna crack it and peel it and eat it. All right, so here's the egg. Now what you do, you just take the egg, you dip it in your seasoning, okay? See that? Now, you, you make it, you poke at it, so it breaks, and that's gonna get all the sauce into the yolk. This is gonna be so, so good. So next time you go to a hot pot, you do this. All right guys, now we're gonna look for a potato. Look at that. Oh, it just falls apart. See that? It's falling apart. See when you get to touch it like that? Oh, it's so good. Now dip that in your sauce. That'll be the best potato you'll ever have. Best potato. Now you can drink the soup. Mia's gonna drink the soup now. This is the time, so how is it? Good? Alright, so this is the time, like for example, this is when you eat your radishes. Radish takes like half hour to like cook really good. Or like winter melon, this place doesn't have it, but if you got winter melon, put it in there. I'm hitting the treaded wall right now. We're done with hot pot, now it's time for some ice cream. Not a lot of hot pot places give you ice cream. So this is really good because the yogurt and milk will also help with the spice in your stomach. Okay, so the ice cream is finished. Now I feel complete because I have the spicy hot pot mixed with the milkiness of the ice cream. That balances everything out. I just had a balanced meal that is both healthy, but mine's really not healthy because my hot pot is full of grease and oil and my sauce is full of grease and oil. But I'm happy, I'm satisfied. Nothing beats a hot pot. And for those of you who think that you can only eat hot pot in the summer, because I'm like, you guys wanna go eat hot pot? If someone says, no, this is summer, it's too hot. You can eat hot pot whenever you feel like it. Hey guys, so that was my first attempt at vlogging a food outing. So I'm still trying these things out, but I do go to a ton of cool food places. So if you guys like this video, let me know and I'll keep making them. Again, if you haven't done it already, please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. All right, guys, see ya.